Hello, I'm Rodney Cameron. I've promised Dorothy to have a look at my photos for quite a long time and we've seemed to have been that busy although we're not living not far away from one another. So as I've contacted her again I thought I'd just make up this little a few clips and um, perhaps others can see it. Mainly I'll just show where I fit in by viewing some of the photos that I've got. This is of course Donald Cameron, the piper, the third son in the original family. He married Isabella Glasgow in 1853. They were married in Turakina by the Reverend Hogg and it's I understand to be the first Presbyterian marriage to take place in Turakina. This is a photo of uh, Donald's wife Isabella. After this I'll, I've got another photo which is taken when she's much older. Now this is taken I would understand when she was Mrs Lowe's much later in life. Here we have Donald and Isabella's six sons. Now the front row from left to right is DJ, Robert and Duncan. And the back row is William, Walter and Alan. Walter is my grandfather. This photo, the front row is in the reverse order, taken of course when they're much older. It would be prior to 1918 because Duncan Cameron died in that flu that came at the end of the First World War. So it's Duncan Robert and DJ Cameron or Uncle John, William, Walter and Alan. The brothers kept in a family because of the death of their father, my grandfather Walter and Alan were brought up by a Scottish couple in Wellington and I think Grandpa possibly would have only been about four years old when his father died and Alan would have been about two. So the younger ones would hardly have known their father at all. Duncan as I understand it, worked in a, a firm in Wellington and then I don't know whether it was the same firm in Christchurch, but he spent most of his life in sort of a merchant and dice or mercantile firm. And Robert and DJ went out. I think they probably would have left home soon after their father died and possibly worked on Pahau for a while. Their father was a shareholder in Pahau when he died, I'm pretty certain. Anyway, they went contracting in Blair Logie, I understand, and then started farming at Teoriori just out of Masterton. I think they grew a bit of grain for a start. When they'd got established, my grandfather and Alan were working in shipping offices in Wellington. My grandfather was supposed to be in charge of an office. Well, they brought them up. I think possibly that they would have spent time on Pahau too, perhaps. I don't know, to learn a bit about what farming was about. And then the, they were brought and uh, I suppose worked for Robert and DJ for a while and then they were finally settled on their own farms. William was a blacksmith. He had a business in Manaya in Taranaki for a while and then he came back to Masterton where he had his business there and later on the brothers also settled him on a farm round at Caves Road, just a bit further round from where they were. This is my grandfather Walter. Again, about the time he was married, and uh, the next one will be of Grandma. This is my grandmother, Madeline. DJ and his family went to Sydney at some stage. Grandma lived in Sydney, and 
I'm not sure how, but she met Phyllis and Ruby, DJ's daughters, and they formed a friendship. And anyway, before they left to come back to New Zealand, DJ invited Grandma to come over and visit and stay with them, which she did. And that was how she met my grandfather. They married in about, I think it was 1903. And Grandpa would have been about 41 and uh, Grandma was possibly only 18 or 19 at the time. She went backwards and forwards to Sydney to visit her family there, but she was very much a family person among the Camerons. This is their family. My aunt, Corrie, in the background. My father on the left-hand side was Ron or Sam. And the one on the right is my uncle, Norman. Norman was named after DJ's son who was killed at Gallipoli. He was born in 1919, so this photo would possibly be around the 1920 somewhere. This was my grandmother as I knew her, or as she was older. Being the oldest grandson, she always had me during my school holidays, and if she wasn't able to have me, she arranged for me to go and stay somewhere else, which was usually round with Auntie Sib, who was a daughter of William Cameron, and so I spent a bit of time with that family as a young fellow. This is my grandfather. Um, as an older man, taken in the living room, uh, no not sorry, uh, the dining room in their home, Te Ori Ori. The view we have there is facing south. This is my father as a young man. Next one will be of our, all of our family together at a cousin's wedding. And here's our family. This photo was coloured by my sister Janet on the right. She worked for Graham Ace and the photographer in Masterton. At one stage, my mother was one of a twin. Her twin sister married Don Mackenzie, who farmed at Tirangi in the Wangahoo Valley. That's me between mum and dad. The very left is my sister Anne. Next to her, Sally. Anne only lived to 17, she died of cancer soon after finishing her schooling. This is an older one of Robert Cameron. It probably would have been sometime in the 1920s, because I think he died about 1931. Next one will be of him fully dressed in kilts. And here he is. This one of DJ Cameron has got probably taken in the 1930s on it. He was the only one beside my grandfather who was alive when I was born, so I did see him once when I went with Dad to pick him up, probably to take him out to see Grandpa, I think. And this is Alan Cameron. I find it interesting delving into family history because we know very little about what went on before we came on the scene, so to speak. I understand that our Cameron family was very close in the early times. I have other photos of the ones from Kaiwara visiting at Masterton when my father and aunt were young children and they obviously worked together in a lot of ways. Just looking in the Wairapa, the history of the Wairapa by Bagnall, and it says it listed all the names of the brothers as partners in Pahau, although I understand that some of them were in Wellington sort of with other jobs. So they seem to involve them and even in my grandfather with his brothers, they were still very close and worked with one another even though the older one was down in Christchurch. Today we've sort of grown away from that. I'm interested in doing this sort of thing and developing it a bit more because our own children 
don't know very much about our family background at all because we've lived outside the wire wrapper now for more than 45 years, I think. They are a bit interested in our family and I seem to have finished up with quite a few photos with what we can do with computers and CDs and that we can circulate instead of the photos sitting in our wardrobes and gathering dust. They can be put on discs and circulated to as many as we like. I'm sure we'll find it interesting as we look into our family backgrounds. That's about the end of what I've got to contribute at the moment. <laughs>